I don't know that it's important to give every set of thoughts or a worldview a particular name, but I'm going to toss out a few ideas and see if you agree, and then I'm going to apply a label to it and see if you agree with that label. So I'm going to toss out just a, a few principles or ideas or worldviews, and these are ones that I happen to believe in, and uh, perhaps you do as well. And we'll see if we share these ideas and uh, yeah, give them a label. So one of these ideas is that uh, I, I choose to be moral in, in one of my ideas about morality. And let's start this whole thing. I did the intro. We'll skip the last 30 seconds or whatever, and right after the intro, we'll start with this part right here. All right, so I'm going to toss out a couple ideas, a couple principles that I have, see if you share them. So one of them is that uh, I choose to be honest. I choose not to tell untruths or half-truths. Uh, part of being honest, I think, is not stealing. Uh, I just choose to earn what it is that I have, or if it's gifted to me, that's okay. But I choose not to steal. I choose not to accept stolen property. So if I know that something was stolen from someone else and then someone tries to give or sell that to me, I, I don't think it's a good idea to accept that. I believe in being honest uh, in, in business relations, in personal relationships, in uh, neighborly relationships just being honest. I believe that it's wrong to initiate violence against other people who are just peaceful, minding their own business, don't want to have anything to do with me. I think it's wrong to initiate that violence. And, and that violence is kind of get, can get into stealing as well. I consider it violence to, uh, to punch someone or to take a person and force them either by threat or by actually grabbing them and making them live in a particular house or county or state or government or country, whatever. It's it's not okay to grab them and put them in the, make them live in this country under this government or that one there, or well, everybody just kind of freely move around. I don't believe that I have a right to initiate that violence. I can't kill people. I can't uh, initiate violence against their property or, or destroy their property. Um, so I, I can't break the windshield of a neighbor if they're just minding their own business in their driveway. Uh, that's not a not a good idea, not a good thing for me to do. I don't think that there is a, a god or a group of gods that are going to descend out of the heavens and, and beat me up or burn me alive or something if I if I do go over and break my neighbor's windshield. But I believe it's a, a better world if, if, if I don't do that, and I hope others don't do that to me. And there's a certain amount of violence that if a person initiates that violence against me or against someone that I am around, that I'm probably going to have to take action. So as, just as a quick example, if I see 10 huge guys and one of them slaps a child in a way that I don't like, and they're all big, aggressive, drunk guys, and I'm all alone, I'm probably not going to confront them. And that's because I'm a coward. It's out of fear. If, on the other hand, though, those same 10 guys are trying to rape an eight-year-old girl, even though I'm scared, I am going to do whatever it is I can to stop them. And maybe I can only stop or kill a few of them, but I'm kind of willing to lay down my life for something that serious. Someone getting slapped, not so much. But those are not things that I say you should also agree with or believe or do. Uh, this defense of others, this is just what I choose to do. And I let it be known in the world, you don't get to rape eight-year-old girls in front of me because this is what I'll do and just kind of putting it out there. So we have honesty. We have the non-initiation of violence. We have the, the stealing part. I would add that being fair, loving, and kind, those are things that I choose to do. And I don't think it's initiating violence if I am unfair to people, but I really do love treating people in a, in a way that is equal to the way they deserve. So if someone is hardworking and friendly and outgoing, then I absolutely want to treat them well. And they're going to get treated fairly based on how they treat me and how they perform. 
Um, I, I think that fairness is a good thing. I love to give. I, I don't give people hard assets. Like I, I don't give people food or shelter or that kind of thing. That's not a gift that I give, um, at, at least not out of obligation. For friends, when I have a group of friends over, yeah, we're going to provide food and a shelter for that. But I, I don't donate money to, to food banks or to, to missions or, or that kind of thing. And there's a whole reason behind that, that I don't think it's really helping the people in the way that they need to be helped. But I, I do believe in being kind to others and helping others. And if there's a homeless person that would like some advice or would like to come in and borrow a shower so they can go out and look for a job or something like that, I'm all about it. And then I would add that all of these things that I believe in, I believe that I should be consistent in those. I should be intellectually consistent. And I shouldn't change these principles of it's not okay to steal just because maybe a bunch of people agree with me that it'd be really neat to steal or because they're, somebody else agrees that it's okay to initiate violence that I can do that. I, it, I believe in being very consistent. Theft is wrong. It's just bad. So I, I can't agree to that. I can't agree to to support or like uh, any organization that is based on theft, so like a mafia or something. I, I just couldn't support them because they're based on stealing money from people and, and initiating violence. And I, I couldn't support an organization like that. And so when we put together these, these few principles I've, I've mentioned, there's a, a term that many people use for that, and it's called voluntarist. You know, the, the philosophy is voluntarism, and it is growing in popularity in a big way, way faster than any religion or political group or anything like that, uh, just in the last 20 years, last five years, just huge spike in growth because it makes sense, and it's, and it's simple, and I don't think of myself as a simpleton, but most good truths are pretty simple, and... Most things can be explained to a seven or eight year old. And this idea of voluntarism is, uh, I've, I've been a voluntarist for 10 years, a, a conscious, purposeful voluntarist. And it's such a peaceful, wonderful existence. Uh, I know that I'm doing what's morally right based on what I know at the time. Always open to new information, open to, to changing my mind. If there are better ideas out there, the last thing I would want to do is hold on to some belief that I've always believed. And if it's wrong, gosh, just show me it's wrong. I'm very happy to change. What do you think? Are, do you kind of share those things I said? You might be a voluntarist. <laughs>